is a disease spreading, infecting, consuming all that it touches. It started out as a newborn baby with fetal alcohol syndrome. And now, it has grown into an infectious, pugnant mass of filth. Why does nobody think this is shit? You can't take one look Am I dumb? without seeing the fetid destruction it has wrought. Tom Seller. This disgusting genre, this curse, is survival games. Go on the Steam store and you will find a plethora of shit! Absolute garbage! You can blame Notch, Dean Hall, probably even Greenlight for it, because it crashed in like a wave of feces flooding over the store page. And guess what? These games aren't going anywhere. And I'm gonna talk about the latest big meme, the stinkiest turd that's managed to push its way into the toilet bowl that Steam has become. The Culling, aka The Hunger Games, the unofficial game edition game. You take one look at this store page, and from the very first second, it just screams out DayZ or Rust clone. It's just... Okay, no, actually, before I continue, I do have to confess that while I am making fun of all these shitty survival games on Steam, I actually managed to enjoy playing Rust with my group of friends, and every once in a while I boot up Minecraft and log on to 2 b 2 t So out of all the smelly mud nuggets on Steam, Rust is probably the least stinky chocolate banana to play. Though... The inherent problem with survival games like Rust is that there is this overwhelming, absurd amount of senseless fear when you play it. Like, at any moment, some fart buckler can spring out from atop a hill and blast your asshole wide open, making all those precious hours of hard work collecting stone and wood completely null and void. You can spend days viciously toiling away, collecting nearby resources, all to design an impenetrable bunker, only to have a group of asshat Russians C4 your creation to dust in a matter of minutes when you're not even online. It's just so stressful knowing that any time, all your efforts to survive can be completely shattered and destroyed while you aren't even playing the game. In the culling, that senseless fear is gone and instead replaced with a constant controlled fear. And that's because of one simple thing. A time limit. You only have to survive for a controlled segment of 25 minutes. And if you fuck up within the first three, well, it's not really that big of a deal because you can just join a new game. There's no long-term attachment here. And I personally find that far more enjoyable than every other survival game I've played thus far. I'm honestly surprised that no one has thought of doing this yet. And yes, there are Minecraft servers and other games that have done this with mods and such, but no one's actually made a full game based on a concept of The Hunger Games. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of those movies or anything, but I always thought the idea of just dropping a group of people inside an arena and having them murder each other until everyone else is dead and there's only one man standing sounded like a great concept for a video game. And well, you know, well that kind of partially explains your average shooter formula, just put people down and they shoot each other. The difference here is that, well, no one starts with a gun, and when you die, you don't respawn. You just jump into another session and try again. It's like, I'm enjoying my time playing the game now, rather than 10 hours in after I've farmed enough ammunition for my weapons and created enough C4 to raid someone. This game just removes all the boring parts of other survival games and just drops you right into the action. It's like, in a game like this, it's just convenient to be able to smash two stones together with the power of technology and then get a knife out of it, rather than having to sift through a series of menus and waiting for a couple minutes for something to finish crafting. For the first time in a generation, a game has a crafting system that isn't convoluted or require me to keep a wiki open 24-7 to properly use. It's it's like I feel obligated to hate this game just because it's another one of the many in a sea of ever-expanding shitty survival games, but I just don't hate it. I, I just enjoy playing it. A majority of survival games have some form of melee combat, and that usually is just left to spamming left mouse button as fast as possible, swinging mindlessly until either you or your opponent are dead. See, the culling, while it does have guns and other ranged weapons, I feel that its primary focus is on its melee combat. So. You have light attack, charge attacks, blocking, pushes. You can also throw your weapon wherever you want, but that's more of like a mid-ranged alternative to firearms and bows. Overall, it's extremely reminiscent of Vermintide's combat, except now it's in a player versus player environment, and pushing has been swapped to the Q key instead of having to hold right mouse button and press left mouse button. Oh, and there's also backstabs. Mechanically, the combat works, although at the same time, 
it, it can just end up feeling really clunky and awkward at some points. Like, a good example would be when both me and my opponent are just smacking each other back and forth in a war of attrition until one of us dies. I don't really love or hate the combat system. There are both good and bad aspects to it. The good, of course, being that since in this game there's some small amount of depth to its combat system, there's also a bit of a learning curve and mastery to it. Someone who really doesn't know what they're doing will get their ass beat by someone who does. It's like an adrenaline rush, as having a good grasp on the game's combat system, getting into a fight, and then winning said fight just feels so damn good. But I also personally find this to be kind of a bad thing, because oh my god, I feel like sometimes I just absolutely suck at this game's combat. I just feel like I get wrecked by people who do nothing but play this game and have actually mastered its combat system. The more I play, the more I feel like I'm just falling further below a constantly rising skill ceiling. Like, the combat is so hit and miss, cause like, most situations really just end up in some weird full body form of rock, paper, scissors. It's like, he tries to hit me, I just block his attacks. He starts blocking me, I push him to break his guard. I try to hit him, and he manages to block me at the last second, or he pushes me and my attack doesn't connect. Then, when I attack cancel and push him, his attack still connects. I mean, I'm not even factoring in perks, stims, stun guns, pepper spray, all the other tools at your disposal. Oh, and don't even get me started on when people try and run for a nearby health station when they barely have any health left. I, I always get baited into a moment of reckless abandon and start rapidly swinging in a desperate attempt to shave off that last sliver of life from my opponent, only to have him constantly block and outplay me. Like, goddamn, I just feel stupid when I do that, but hey, I don't know, live and learn, I guess. I know I'm not that good at the game, but there's also the possibility that the game might just need better netcode, hitboxes, and well, just better performance in general. Cause holy crap, this game, it may be on Unreal Engine 4, but it runs like absolute garbage. I had to turn everything down to the lowest possible setting, and my machine still could barely output 50 frames at best. I mean, I get it, it's early access. So maybe I shouldn't be complaining about performance at the moment, but my god, the performance right now is absolutely abysmal. So more than anything, the game needs more content. While it would be interesting to see them add more character and perk customization, as well as a bunch of new weapons and tools, all while hopefully maintaining the perfect balance, the thing I really want to see more than anything are new maps. A perfect example of this would be a volcanic island, or simply just a volcano, where after 15 minutes have passed, the map begins to fill with lava. This would open up some sort of possibility for platforming elements, jumping from rock to rock, all while avoiding lava and having to stay on higher ground. Or how about a desert that has a constantly shifting sandstorm, or a snowy area with an avalanche hazard? Maybe even an underwater dome or concrete facility that slowly begins to fill up with water in the last 10 minutes of the match. Like, the possibilities are endless there. If in two years from now, Xaviant manages to follow through on all their plans and make a solid, fully featured, optimized game, well then, goddamn, color me impressed. Because, as a lot of people already know, the majority of early access games have a track record of never being finished. The culling in its current state is best described as an amalgamation of shit that has been piling up on Steam for the last two years, lumped into a surprisingly fun and playable package. There is definitely a game here, but it is nowhere near ideal at the moment.